Hey friends, welcome back to another video. We'll hear Orlando base, a flight attendant on my way to the airport to start a three day trip. Today should be a fairly easy day. We only have one leg. We are going from Orlando to Dallas, Fort Worth, and we have a 20 hour overnight. It is raining here in Orlando, and I did see some notifications for some thunderstorms as well. So hopefully that doesn't delay us tonight. Again, it should be just a quick two hour, 30 minute flight um, to Dallas and you know it's there's there's no reason why we should have um, issues tonight just going to Dallas but we'll see we'll see what happens uh, let's find out together Tori just texted me as I just finished saying hopefully everything goes smooth tonight this is Orlando isn't a ground stop I was flying the A position, but Tori over here was like, can you swap with me? Because I love being the A, and so, you know, I'm that guy, so I swapped with her. So I am flying as a C position. So we're still together in the front, and then we're gonna fly one leg to Dallas. It's a two hour and 45 minute flight. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Do you wanna say something? No. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's go to Dallas, guys. Well, hello guys, made it to Texas. I'm digging this room. Let's take a look. Super quick, here is the entrance. We have a shower, very nice mirror over here. Full length mirror, we can hang stuff there. And then that's pretty much it. We have a small fridge. I have my food here, so I'm ready with that. And then I just put all my stuff over there and this is a room that we have for the next 20 hours, or 19 hours, I think. Good morning, guys, and welcome to day two. This is such a nice aesthetic room. Um, I like how, like, tiny but, like, functional it is. And uh, what else do I have for you? Did I talk to you guys about last night's flight? I think I did. There wasn't really a lot happening on that flight. And then today we do two flights actually and i'll probably tell you later but i'll say it now in case i forget we go from dallas to phoenix and then phoenix to orlando uh which is kind of a long flight and then i get back to orlando i have 12 hours of rest and then i start another three-day trip that's what i have for you um right in this moment uh we'll see what else we end up doing on this on this layover airport and work two flights we're going from Dallas Fort Worth to Phoenix and then we have an hour and 30 minute sit and then we go from Phoenix to Orlando it is going to be a very long night our report time is 5 55 today and we're not done until 4 33 in the morning tomorrow so it's going to be a long night like I said hopefully I can get coffee somewhere along the way oh they might have coffee downstairs so maybe I should go right now and try to grab some but yeah, we'll see how tonight goes. We'll see how we do in this red eye. I have my book. Um, I have some leftover food from earlier today that I went with Tori when we went to, to Marshall's and all that. And then we got um, Firehouse on the way back. So yeah, let's go to work, guys. Already on the plane, did all my pre-flight. Going to Phoenix, let's go. Have made it to Phoenix. We have Katie on board. 
We are also cleaning the aircraft and then we are going to be on a four hour flight from Phoenix to Orlando. I am not excited about how long this flight is, but someone's gotta do it and that's us. Um, there were a few babies screaming on our previous flight, so that was a little, a little too much. Um, but, you know, eventually, nothing really happened on this flight. It was a two hour and 15 minute flight. And, uh, you know, service was a little busy, but other than that, nothing really, nothing really crazy happened. So, I'm up here, we're just waiting for, uh, like I said, catering and cleaners so to get off the aircraft. And then we're gonna start boarding. We have 185 passengers, we have capacity for 186. And like I said, our flight's having is four hours. So I'll see you tomorrow morning in Orlando. It is 5.04 a.m. and my next report time is today at 5.32 p.m. So I have just under 13 hours to rest and get ready to work this three-day trip i just finished a three-day and then because it overlaps with this other three-day technically i'm only working five days so that's kind of nice when i got out of the gate here in orlando right now um right across from my gate was a san juan flight and i was like oh my god can i just like hop on that flight and go home but obviously it doesn't work like that i have to work Last night was a little intense. Um, some stuff happened when we were in Dallas and that was that we had a maintenance issue right after we finished avoiding. So I, it's kind of hard sometimes because you can't predict maintenance and you know, it's always when you have a plane full of people. And so obviously, you know, we're not gonna be responsible and we can't just leave. Like we have to report these kind of things, especially if it's something that could potentially affect, you know, all of us truly and so <laughs> we're waiting for maintenance and they're finishing up paperwork and then maintenance comes back and it's like uh ramps closed so you may be wondering what does maintenance and ramp has to do well how are we going to push this plane back if we don't have ramp agents how are we going to push back and take off so now you know we solved the maintenance issue but we were still waiting for for you know the ramp to open again so that we could push back and then go on our flight from dallas to phoenix which was two hours and 15 minutes and i think i've already said that um obviously people were upset and you know there's really nothing you can do like especially if you fly out of dallas or if you're from dallas like there's always weather there's always something going on there so i don't even know why people sometimes act so surprised and not even that but it's it's more so like you know we don't have control over that it's not it's not like the airline is actively wanting to delay your flight you know it's just you can't control weather you can't and sometimes i really wonder if people understand that but you know, is the name of the game, unfortunately. So we end up going to to Phoenix, and then we got there. We were a little delayed. Uh, our flight from Phoenix to Orlando was over blocks, so it was like four hours and forty something minutes. But it only ended up being four hours even. That felt very long, but luckily, you know, um, I have Tori with me in the front, and we've worked a couple trips together, so we're just talking and you know trying trying to stay busy so that we can push through that's pretty much that's pretty much the end of that trip right now i wanted to pack my bag also do meal prep and all of that but i don't know i think i should just go to sleep because it's still dark outside so i know i'm gonna fall asleep super quick and then when i get up i'll, I'll just do what i have to do i am just getting to the apartment here and then I'm gonna sleep and I will see you in a couple hours to work our next trip together. Back in the car again. I am going to have breakfast right now. I've actually did not sleep a lot. Um, I think I went to bed sometime around 6.30 a.m. and then around 10-ish, I got a phone call from my dad letting me know that my grandpa passed this morning. Not a very good morning today. I am supposed to work later today at 5.32 is my report time. I'm still waiting on my family to call me to see what we're going to do. 
as far as a funeral and all those things um, that is going to determine whether or not I am going to work later today I'm on a bit of a time crunch because I have to call in by a certain time so I don't get in trouble and also calling in in that period of time will allow a reserve to get a two-hour call out to report to the airport to work my trip I was not gonna say anything but if the vlog ends here because I didn't go on my next trip then that's the reason why if we end up going on the trip we end up going on the trip I am okay I'm doing okay I actually got to see uh, my grandpa this past week I spent a few days with him so uh, I just it all happened so sudden I I didn't think yeah I don't know I don't know what I thought but definitely not not the call that I that I got this morning and I don't think you're ever prepared to see that kind of call that's what I got for you guys. So hopefully in a little bit, I'm able to give you an update as of what I'm going to do. I'll keep you posted as of what, as of what's gonna happen. What a day. I am I'm back in the apartment. I went to the airport and I listed on um, so many flights to go to Awadia today. It was just a lot happening. The ramp is closed. No planes can land or take off. Um, the flight that I was supposed to be on I was leaving originally at 4.35 now it's delayed for the fourth time and now it's saying that the new departure time is like 8 45. i listed on a 6 p.m flight to go to san juan instead and then have my dad pick me up there that one's delayed until like nine o'clock and if you guys remember i am on like three or four hours of sleep and so i just didn't think that sit you know sitting around the airport for longer it was going to work for me so i just decided to come back to the apartment and then i'm going to try again tomorrow my only concern is that if any of these flights that i was attempting to go tonight um and cancel that was thunder and um if any of these flights cancel today then a lot of these people are going to try to go on these flights tomorrow and so that means that the flights are probably going to be full and we don't want uh to Spent another day at the airport and not be able to get home. I talked to my family and I told them that, you know, I was trying to get home tonight, but it's just, this is not happening. There's an 11 p.m. flight to San Juan, but I wouldn't get there until like two in the morning. And I just, I'm not gonna have my family drive around that time to San Juan to then go back to, to the west side of the island. There's a 6 a.m. flight on JetBlue. I don't know that I wanna get up that early. Uh, we'll see how I feel and what I, We'll see what I feel and what I find later. But for now, um, that's pretty much what's happening. <laughs> um, what a day. What a day, huh? I'm going to end this vlog here. So thank you so much for coming along. And I am so sorry how this vlog ended. But this is life, guys. And I chose to show you my life as a flight attendant. And even though, you know, what happened this morning is more of... A personal matter still involves my flight tenant life because you know I couldn't go to work today and now I'm here and I can't go home and I'm ugh, feeling anxious but it's gonna be okay anyway guys if you enjoy at least the Dallas portion of this vlog go ahead and smash that like button also don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week for another vlog take care